my first and only child was born a couple months before I turned 30. And so for me, it was a pretty interesting uh, vantage point in my life because I could look back at my 20s and I could see all the hedonism and individual pursuits. And then I could look ahead to my 30s and realize that that was going to change because I was going to now be saddled with the responsibility of keeping a new life form alive. And you, at that point, when that happens, you kind of do look across at the people who are childless with some envy, realizing that it's going to be a lot easier for them to keep their edge and uh, not become boring and uncool because they're going to just be able to keep living uh, the same hedonistic lives that they had in their 20s. Uh, so that was kind of what I was expecting, but I've been curiously surprised in that I generally find that a lot of the uh, childless people that I know that are in their 30s, they generally become kind of as boring <laughs> as breeders. And I made me wonder why. And I think it's a pretty simple explanation in that, uh, at least for me, it happened very quickly in that in, in my late 20s, none of the people that I knew had children. And it was strange in a way because you're like, fucking hell. You girls are getting older. You don't seem to want to have kids. And then the first first gal punches one out and then the baby fever stuff spreads like chlamydia around a fucking army barracks. Everyone's punching them out. And in the space of two to three years, everyone's got a kid and, and they're moving out of the city towards the suburbs. And so I think that, that largely explains things because if I look back and I think that I think about what I defined as cool or what was a cool person in my twenties, generally it was people who are around a bunch of other people. It's kind of like, if you can um, amass a ton of other cool friends and uh, be seen in public places with all your friends you are just automatically cool somehow. And it's kind of like fish in a barrel because in your twenties, you're starting out your careers. You don't have much responsibility. You've still got friends from high school or college, which you kind of, which bleed over into your twenties. And, and so you do have a lot of opportunity to hang out and travel with one another. And, and most importantly, take, uh, photographic and video evidence that you can upload to the internet to prove how cool you are. But then once the fucking uh, baby chlamydia starts spreading and everyone fucks off, well, the majority of people fuck off to the suburbs, the childless uh, don't have a, a, a big pool of people to draw upon to produce evidence that they're still cool, that they still have their edge. And so I think that that, um, becomes an issue. And so as far as I can gather, the childless people in their 30s, they realize this, that they're like, well, fuck, if I want to try and uh, keep up appearances and and um, do the same shit that I was doing in my 20s, I'm going to have to get like significantly older or younger friends. And some people do that. They just like strangely get into rock climbing and and they're hanging out with like, weirdos who live in utah or suddenly they just get heavily into vape they open a fucking vape uh shop and they're hanging out with zoomers or something so outliers do that and they still retain some type of kind of like outward coolness but i find the majority just sink into kind of like their passion projects and and get stuck into their hobbies and devote all their time to that and there's less trace of them online and so therefore I'm over here um, keeping my child alive and dealing with late nights and a teething baby was there like fucking Bobby and the Sopranos just tinkering with their train set. And so <laughs> I think that's generally what happens is that they're utilizing all this um, time to 
work on their hobbies. And yeah, it's really just a, that that's been a big learning thing for me is that I thought that everyone had a lot going on in their twenties and that people were inherently cool. But I think that you just trick yourself into thinking that all these people, if they're congregating with one another and they are seeing each other regularly and they're posting evidence of these meetings that that somehow makes them cool. I don't think coolness comes within man. So I think that forties is really going to be the, the decade where the real cool ones are going to show um, what they're worth. Because at that point you've had a lot of time to work on yourself and produce something of value and actually become a cool person. It's not just like some, a uh, happy accident that happens in your twenties because you're all around each other and your thirties, you're busy working on your hobbies or raising children. So really what I've come to realize is that in your twenties, pretty much everyone's cool in your thirties, pretty much no one is cool. And then in the forties, it's kind of like, we'll see, let's, let's see who's the real cool ones. <laughs> let's see who hasn't lost their edge and we'll be dancing to fucking, LCD LCD sound system at backyard barbecues. So see you there, cunts. <laughs>